Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube and here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Happy Vlogmas Day 4? 3? 4. Look at these pancakes. Mom just made them. They look delicious. And we have some bacon over here. There's another slice of bacon right there. Good morning, John. Good morning. Do you like your food? Say hi. Ooh, look at my delicious stack of pancakes. Looks so good. Hey guys, we are now inside the car. Uh, I'm waiting for John to come because we're gonna go head out to our storage and we're gonna drop off all of the fall decorations that I put into the car last night and we're gonna pick up all the Christmas stuff. So I'm very, very excited. Today is gonna be the day we're gonna start decorating for Christmas. It's super duper overcast. It really is gonna be raining tomorrow. You guys, according to the weather, it's gonna start raining tonight. So gotta get all this stuff. So make sure that I can decorate even when it's raining. Which, ooh, actually, I feel like decorating when it's raining is like our version of decorating when it's snowing from like the east coast so it'll be really nice anyway very excited i'll see you guys at the storage unit okay Ooh. and here we are back to the storage unit you excited bro john's excited he's super excited this year john <laughs> <laughs> stop. It's already old. You already did it. Uh, Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys, the car is full, but we still need to make a second trip, so we're gonna drop off stuff and then come back here again. Alright, you guys, we are now back at the house. John is super excited, and we're gonna take down all of our Christmas stuff and then put all of the fall stuff in here that we didn't get to take last time and then we're gonna go back to the storage unit and pick up the rest of the Christmas stuff and I think we're gonna try and like go through some of the stuff that's easy to put away so that way we can bring those back as well so that way you don't have to make as many trips. All right, just got all the Christmas stuff pretty much in the house uh, and loaded up the car with the fall stuff. Now we're gonna head back to drop off the fall stuff and get the rest of the Christmas stuff. All right, we are all set. I'm ready to go back. We don't have that much to bring back with us, but we brought, we brought all of the fall stuff. So all the fall stuff is now out of the house and back in storage. And then just literally four things, but yeah, good to go. You guys, look how strange the clouds look. That is crazy. Guys, so John is over there putting the lights in the ceiling and they are just very difficult to put in because they're like these weird lights that go like that and I think it's because of like the oil or whatever from like when you're cooking like the lights are gonna get all gross inside so I think that's the reason why the lights are so difficult but they are really annoying <laughs> to put in uh, but 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 I'm over here in the living room. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put the Christmas tree. I want to put it in that little corner over there and I literally got the tree out and opened it up so I can see how much space I need and I think it might fit. So I'm just going to scoot that out of the way and see how it looks. Definitely it can't be there when the tree is there. The little credenza we have like the other one over here on this side. So I'm gonna take it out and see how it looks with the tree kind of there, um, not fully assembled yet, but just the base to make sure that the base fits because that's the most important part of the tree. Uh, so, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it looks. All right, I got that thing on Bobber out. Now let's put the tree in. I didn't want to move it too far in case this wasn't gonna work. So, let's, let's see if this all fits. I'm hoping it does. Hey right, guys, it looks like it's gonna fit. Okay. <laughs> tree on um, last time in the library yeah did you like it there yeah it was like a harry potter theme that's why but this year we're gonna have a living room theme stranger things, Stra <laughs> stranger things christmas upside down christmas, <laughs> upside down christmas, christmas tree christmas. how am i gonna get this up there okay so i think i like it here we're gonna we're gonna get it situated i need to figure out the plugging light situation because the other one's not connected so anyway i think this is gonna be fun it's gonna be fine it's gonna be awesome okay friends i have 
a little problem because this is actually the base of the tree. <laughs> this is actually the middle part of the tree. So, um, I was like, wow, this tree looks really small. It's like a lot smaller than I remember. That's because the base is right here and this is the really big part of the tree. So, we're going to try this one more time and see what happens. But look how cute this little tree is. Like, maybe I'll just have a Charlie Brown tree. It still kind of works, right, bro? John, John said to just use this to this little part of the tree and just add the little top part. It's less of a headache. It's easier to manage. John doesn't know how to live life. The Christmas miracle! Spear fingers! So anyway, and negative Nancy John said it wasn't going to fit, but it does. It's a really, it it's a really fit. tight squeeze. I didn't say it wasn't gonna fit. But, oh, that's all, let's film John putting the top on. Oh, John, look at you. Wait, John, you didn't screw it at the bottom, it might fall over. I'm doing it anyways. Living Her on content. a, John's living on a prayer. Where's the John's putting the top on the tree. Oh, you know, you should judge it before you put it on. It'll make it a lot easier. It's gonna be hard to judge it when it's there. Okay, you judge it while I put the screws into the bottom of the tree. Okay, get down from the ladder. It'll be easier for you to judge it. John, what are you doing? <laughs> this is why John's not in charge of the tree. <laughs> he would just well, leave it in the middle doing part. Such a good job, guys. John, you're you're doing. I you're, can do it. You're doing so great, sweetie. Just pretend I'm Chris Jenner. <laughs> I'm doing it. You're doing it, John. You're doing it. Hey, the tree looks so cute there. <gasps> it's never been there before. It looks really squished, though. I think we might have to move the sofa over a little bit. No, no, no. It's like really into that corner. No, 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 no. Yeah, we don't want to move the sofa. No, That's no, no. too much work. It's bad enough I had to move this credenza. No, no, no. John? Oh, John, plug it in. Oh. Like the light. It's right there. Do you see it? This thing. Yeah. There should be a plug pretty close to it down there. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's Christmas! Wait, this one's not working. Jingle bell. Yeah, it's probably broken. <laughs> it's okay, John. It's just one light. Just leave it alone. <laughs> You're gonna get electrocuted. <laughs> John, okay. Now let's screw in the bottom part so the whole tree doesn't fall over. It's actually pretty stable. We should just leave it like this. <laughs> no, it, it, there's two walls right next to it. It's fine. No, no, I'm just no, kidding. Let's we'll screw it in. Let's go. I gotta judge the whole tree now. Why does it sound like a. I don't want to say it. And the tree is done! Well, not really done, but the tree has been judged up and it's ready to receive the ornaments. Yes. I'm going to go get them. Hold on, Zach. <laughs> you have to wait for your brothers. Eliza's not even here. So the tree looks fantastic. I'm really excited. I think it looks really festive in that spot. The tree has never been in this room before, which is crazy. So. Um, it's pretty cool to have it in here finally. I think it's gonna look really really cute and Zach is very excited. <laughs> All right guys, so I am kind of like Done for the day with decorating or getting like stuff for Chris like the Christmas stuff done the tree is up That's probably like the biggest thing that I had to do um, because I was really wanted to lock down a spot for where the tree was going to go. And now that it's here, I want to decide on like what I'm going to do with like the rest of the decor and like what decor I'm going to use and where I'm going to put it. So um, I'll probably be doing that tomorrow or within the next like one to two days. Um, tomorrow is going to be raining, which I feel like is such perfect decorating weather i don't know why like i really like decorating during the rain um but especially like christmas stuff i think it's so much fun like we don't it doesn't snow where i live so like what's the next kind of best thing is like maybe rain as long as you're inside because like 
I hate going outside when it's raining. But um, I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got when I went to the Philippines. And it's like literally all Starbucks mugs. Like I literally went to the Philippines to buy Starbucks mugs. That's I think that's what I'm going to title this video. Because it's literally pretty much true. Um, other than getting... Like I bought like some shirts and stuff at Uniqlo when I went there. Um, because I needed more clothes. Um, and then... Um, we bought like you know snacks and stuff to bring back but i was like i really want to find some cool starbucks mugs that they don't have like because you know like starbucks they like carry certain cups and certain stuff like only in certain countries around the world in certain areas um so i wanted to pick some up so i'm actually going to start with uh oh jeez louise okay so when I went to the Philippines, um, that is when these babies got released and I was so excited because I was able to still get them when I was there. So I did get, these are like those bedazzled ones, like this is the silver one and this is kind of like a magenta, like hot pink one, like kind of reddish. So now I'm very excited to be able to use these for the holidays. Um, yeah, because this one kind of looks like the one that I already have, the one that's like a kind of like holographic, rainbowy, like a unicorn. Um, they kind of look very, very similar. And then this one is just like a bright magenta y reddish color. And I feel like this is very festive, very Christmassy. Well, they both are, but this one looks different from the other one that I have. So I think I'm gonna start using this. Very, very excited about it. Um, and I have that one as well. I know I can't brought all these back from the Philippines. I'm so excited that I actually brought I actually bought one other one cup that broke. Um and it literally broke in the parking lot coming back home like when John came to pick us up at the airport. Like we had this little luggage literally only had like a Starbucks cups in it because I bought them from the Starbucks at the airport and when we were pushing the cart with the luggage fell and I was like oh, my god and one of them like shattered so it's so sad but it's okay um the next thing i actually got three of these i'm only gonna show you one but i did get three of these and i thought these were so stinking pretty so they are these glass cups and then in the handle it just has glitter inside of it which is so pretty so much fun. I, I was just like, oh my gosh, these are so cool. I've never seen anything like this. And I had to get it. So I got three of these guys. One for myself and one for mom and one for my sister. Um, mom doesn't know I got these though. And I'm going to start thinking they're going to be Christmas gifts for them. And then one's going to be for me. So the three of us can match. Um, I know John and my dad won't really care about them. So <laughs> I, just got them. I just got them for the three of us. Mom and me, my mom, Yasmin, and I like to match with these things. I don't know why we're just weird like that. Um, okay, so I got those three. And then the next I have in my little tray right here, or basket. Oh, okay, so this one was so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, it's like a Starbucks mug haul. I'm so excited. I've never done one of these before. Um, so this little penguin is so adorable. I mean, it says Starbucks on the back. Oh my gosh, he is so, so cute. He's one of the ones that I bought from the airport. I actually was really sad that I didn't get him when I was at, um, when I was at another Starbucks picking up the other mugs. And I was like, you know what? I should have got him because he's so adorable. So luckily, I ended up picking him up and finding him at the airport. So that was very exciting for me. The next one I was also very excited about because I got him at the airport also. And I thought this one was broken because it had like this plastic thing on it and it fell off. This was what this was one of the ones this one and the penguin and then the one that broke were in the same luggage together. But luckily this one didn't break, the plastic just came off, which was very lucky. But this one is so adorable. Uh it's a cup with saucer. And I don't know if you can can you see the little bears on it? It has little polar bears. So stinking you has a little blue handle and it has like that soft touch kind of feel which is really interesting so I'm very very excited about this guy so it's a little cup and a saucer ok 
Okay, the next, this is actually a present for dad. He um, wants, okay, so I have like a bunch of thrifted and like uh, coffee cups and like, but none of them like really keep the coffee warm for too long. So I wanted to get him like a really nice one um, that will actually keep his coffee warm when he gets from here to work so he can drink it. Um, but this one is, I've never seen this one at Starbucks in America, so I'm sure they have these here too, but I, I just got it just because I don't, I don't know if I'll ever see one again. And this was a double wall vacuum insulated, um, mug. And I thought this was very nice and very appropriate for dad for Christmas. So this is a Stanley and Starbucks collaboration, I guess. Um, but it's just like a black and then silver. I thought this was nice. This little thing pops open and closed like that, which I think is very nice as well. Um, yeah, so this is going to be for Dad for Christmas, one of his Christmas presents. So, very excited to get found a mug for Dad. <laughs> it's hard to, like, try to thrift mugs because you never know what you're going to find and you never exactly know what kind of mug. Because, like, you can go to any thrift store and find a mug, but to find a specific one for, like, a specific need, sometimes you just have to <laughs> pay up. And I think this one was actually pretty expensive. <sighs> I think they took off the price. Yeah, I don't know, they took off the price for everything that I bought. They just like left like the little skews, but I remember it was like expensive, but it was like weird to convert. I, but I think it would pretty much be around the same price, because I think, oh, they didn't take the price off on this one. I got this one from a different store. This one was 795 pesos. That was about 800, that's about $16, which I think that's how much the mug would be maybe in America if they had one like this. Um, but I got this one. This one is one of those special edition ones for the Philippines. Um, and it's so sticky cute. It has like, um, kind of like Philippines, like Philippine landscapes all around. It's really cute and it's kind of like 3D, like everything's like raised or whatever. It's Super, super cute. Um, I love that it has the little jeepney on here and it has presents on top. It's so adorable. And then inside here in the lip, it says Philippines. So I thought this was super duper cool. Oh, and it has inside, it says like all of the, all of the things. Like it, it explains what everything is. So there's the um, Duba, Duba Taha Reef for the Philippine Milkfish, Chocolate Hills, Philippine Pearl, Manila City Hall, and Mayan Volcano. So, very, very cool. I thought this was such a cute little mug. Then up next, um, I got, so I have these, these three guys in here. These came in boxes, which is really nice. And these are actually going to be part of a giveaway. Yay! So, um, I don't exactly know when I'm going to announce the giveaway. Um, maybe this week I'm going to do a giveaway on here on YouTube and then another one also on Instagram. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well at it's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Um, so that way you can enter into both and hopefully win some of these things. So I got two of these mugs. Um, they're the You Are Here collection mugs. And this one is just Philippines. These are like the rice terraces and then the fish, the ocean, it's super duper cute. So I thought this was super cool. I know a lot of you guys um, love Starbucks mugs and a lot of you guys are also collectors of like the location mugs. So I thought this was really cool. You can only get them in the Philippines. So I thought this would be a nice little thing to bring back. Um, and then the next one is this other mug, which is Manila on it, which uh, this is where I stayed for like two weeks in the Philippines, and this is where um, we, like my parents, we have our like family condo there where we stay whenever we go. So I thought this was super cute too. So there's a jeepney, there's a calesa, which is like a horse-drawn carriage, um, just like a really cute red and blue and yellow motif. So adorable. Um, this one is going to be up in the giveaway as well. And I also have a bunch of Philippine treats that are going to go into the giveaway as well. So don't forget to tune in for how to enter. Um, that is going to go up sometime this week. I want to make like a little giveaway basket first before I um, announce like the actual giveaway date and time and all that stuff. I want to make sure like, I have everything all set up. So um, that's going to go up very, very soon. But that is pretty much at the end of today's vlog. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Um, tomorrow, we're, 
we may or may not be finished decorating we're for sure gonna do some decorating i think we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping as well um i think i'm gonna treat mom and john to sushi i think is where we're gonna go um john and i have been like scheming to get mom to like go to all you can eat sushi because it's she loves it but like she feels like it's like too much sometimes and i'm john and i are like we love unlimited sushi yeah so good. So um, I'm not too sure exactly where we're going, but we're definitely gonna go eat tomorrow. Uh, and that should be, I feel like that would be like a fun activity while it's raining to go eat all you can eat. <laughs> and then we're gonna go um, probably, I really wanna go to Target. I think I wanna go to Target with, uh, with Mom and John. I really wanna go there. And then maybe even like Sam's Club or Walmart. Um, because I want to look for, I really want to get like those lit up reindeers for outside. And I remember once, I think I saw them at like a thrift store and I didn't get them or someone else was buying them. I don't exactly remember why I didn't get them. But I think someone else already had them in their cart and I was just like, oh. But uh, I really, really would like some in the front of the house. So we may or may not be getting those tomorrow as well. I just want to like see them and see if I really like them and make sure they're not too expensive because you know, I don't like to spend too much on decorations. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going to be on the agenda for tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, so that's the end of the vlog. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Oh, today's, um, Philip, today's vlog, like, or yesterday when you guys see this, um, don't forget to check that one out because it was when I went um, island hopping and snorkeling in Cebu and I thought that was so fun. It was one of the most ex like the most fun experiences of my life. I've never done anything like that before. I never thought I would either. So um, go check that out. It was so much fun. It was hilarious. Mom was so brave. I can't believe she like went over onto like there's like a part of the boat that like doesn't have any rail and it kind of just like goes over the water and you can like look down. It's like really really cool. We can literally fall off and like. We were going pretty quick, and then we were like, Mom, go. Like, she was, like, so scared, but she went, and it was so cute. So you have to see that moment, because it's my favorite moment in the whole video. Comment down below if you guys saw that video and if you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was so cute. It was, like, my favorite. But um, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Hey, guys. It's a few seconds later. I had to grab a car because I found some really great stuff. Um, this backpack is a leaf skin. I've never found a leaf skin backpack before, so this is very exciting. I love the color too. It's a blue leather backpack, and you guys know, know if you're familiar with um, leaf skin, their leathers are so soft and they're um, vegan dyed. So they, um, the, the dye that they use is not harmful to the environment, which is really, really nice. Um, next thing is this super cute Kipling crossbody bag. I love the color. It's 